This is Archie's joke book from the Archie Comics Group, and it's in the Archie series. It's number 277. It sold for 50 cents. And Archie is playing Space Wars. He says, these space games are getting more and more realistic, Jug. Zap. And Jughead says, too realistic, Archie. And it's zapped through the amusement arcade window. And this is from June 1981, published nine times a year by Archie Comic Publications. On the inside front cover, there's an advertisement uh, for Josie in Mistaken Identity. Someone's on the other side of that hedge, clomp clomp, aye, a gorilla. Hey, wait a minute, that must be Alan M up to his tricks again. I'll show the big gorilla. Screech. Well, hello there, big boy, see what I've got? Hostess cupcakes, delicious chocolatey cake. Deep, dark, fudgy icy. Mmm. Hi, Val. Hi, LM. LM. Then who's this gorilla? Sometime later. That was the gorilla that escaped from the circus. I thought it was Alan M. To think I was thrilled when he followed me home. Who wouldn't if you were feeding them hostess cupcakes? You get a big delight in every bite of hostess cupcakes. And here's Archie and Fever Griever. I think I got a fever, Ma. Feel my brow. What's it feel like? It feels like you're trying to get out of an algebra test. Humph. My mother isn't so smart. Actually, it's a biology test I'm trying to get out of. Archie and Heart Art. Veronica is making a birthday card for you. Uh, how do you know it's for me? She asked me what rhymed with obnoxious. And here's Jughead and Prize Problem. Okay, read me the next problem. If I cut up 23 pieces of paper into 17 strips each, what would I get? The kind of mess I usually find in your room. Here's Big Moose and Clock Yock. Midge, I'm gonna borrow your alarm clock. Moose, what in the world are you doing? Duh, waking up my foot, it fell asleep. Ring, so he's holding the alarm clock over his leg. Uh, and then here's Big Moose and Brain Strain. Duh, I wonder why Midge is avoiding me lately. Moose, can't you put two and two together? Please, Archie, I can only do one math problem at a time. Jughead and Layer Player. I'm into the layered look for winter. Jughead is into the layered look all year. Chocolate layer, maple walnut layer, peach layer. Reggie and Cluck Cluck. I'm surprised they gave me this job. And Archie's dressed as a chicken. He's holding a sign that says, eat Colonel's, Colonel Cluck's, Clunk's chicken. Huh. Reggie says, I'm not. Everyone knows you're the biggest chicken in town. Here's Sabrina in Flight Plight. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Aunt Hilda, look at our funny TV reception. A plane must be flying over. No, it's just a couple of my friends. <laughs> and there's witches flying on the broomsticks. Sabrina, I enjoy going on this moonlight hayride with your family. It seems like we're floating, just floating along. We are, Harvey, we are. So it says glide ride, and they're on a hayride, but it's on a giant broomstick. Open the door, Dilton. Fishing tackle. And there's a uh, football player fishing. Use the tackle, I guess. Uh, scalp treatment. And there's a guy, shaded looking guy, saying $10 tickets, only $100. So he's a scalper. Swimming trunks. And then there are elephants swimming with their trunks in the water. Here's an advertisement for Bubble Yum. Now the number yum taste is even yummier. Bubble Yum, regular bubble gum. Little Jinx and Brainstorm. Charlie had an unusual accident. What happened to him, Little Jinx? A thought struck him. Archie's Pop Gag Bag. How did the Chamber of Commerce meeting go, dear? They presented the Businessman of the Year Award. Bob Gordon won it this year, and he made a really corny acceptance speech. He said, I'd like to thank all the little people who made this award possible. What kind of business is he in? He sells children's clothes. And Archie is in his jalopy, and he's on a walkie-talkie. He says, Breaker, 
one nine. This is Redbird. Do you copy Home Nest? And Archie's father says ten four Redbird. This is Home Nest. I'm going to be a bit late because of icing on the road. Icing, but the temperature is seventy degrees. I know a truck delivering wedding cakes just overturned. And here is a connect the dot puzzle. He ought to know. Things are missing. The face of the person is missing and the vowels in the statement are missing too. Find out who the person is by connecting the dots and filling in the right vowels to correctly finish the statement. It starts, my car doesn't. And here's an advertisement for Charles Atlas. Uh, always picked on in seven days, the insult that made a man out of Mac. Here's strange facts about Archie and the gang. Archie once went a whole day without kissing a single girl. There were no girls in the delivery room the day he was born. Contrary to proper belief, the dollar is not uppermost in Mr. Lodge's mind. He also thinks about the pound, the mark, the yen, the lira, the peso. Moose once had the highest marks in his class. He took his report card to the top of the Empire State Building. Yeah, that is probably the only way that's gonna happen. <laughs> Miss Beasley has served over a million meals in her school cafeteria, and some of them have actually been eaten. Mr. Weatherby is the happiest person at Riverdale High. After the three o'clock dismissal bell, Jughead has absolutely no objection to work, as long as other people are doing it. Ms. Grundy in candid comment. What a hectic day it's been. Our students are impossible. I know where we can relax. Where? At the carnival. Great idea. Hey ladies, wanna watch a freak show? No thanks, we've been watching one all day. Archie in Whirling World. Class, does anyone know what makes the world turn? It's centrifugal force. No, it's gravitational pull. Archie, do you know, huh? I said, do you know what makes the world turn? Sigh, it's girls. Here's Reggie and collection rejection. You lucky girl, here's an autographed photo of me. Someday collectors will collect it. And so Veronica throws it in the trash. And here comes one of the collectors. And here comes the trash truck. Archie and Paper Caper. I'd like to see the file on Archie. All of it? Of course all of it. This way, girls. And they've got two file drawers full of file. Archie's file is really large. Archie and Bird Word. Jug has a parrot entered in this bird show. Which one is it? I got a hunch it's this blue one here. I'm hungry, Polly wants a burger. Let me sleep some more. Yeah, that does sound like Jughead. Um, Jughead and prize present. Open up your birthday present, Jug. Oh wow, it's what I always wanted. A lunch box to carry my pizza to school. Okay, it actually looks more like a briefcase or a suitcase to me. <laughs> Archie and Green Scene. Is that enough water, Marie? You're doing just fine, Hortense. She gabs with the plants, but she ignores me. You cute thing. And then Archie has an idea. <laughs> he put a flower around his head. He's got petals. Yoo-hoo. And here's an order form for Jughead with Archie Digest number 45. It's a mountain of laughs when you order Jughead with Archie Comics Digest number 45. It's a monumental digest loaded with Stories, puzzles, fun for everyone, bound in a perfect long-lasting cover. Just fill out the handy coupon and a copy will be rushed to your home right off the presses. And here's an order form for a checklist. Not two, but three for a dollar. Hey, this is an offer you can't refuse. The Archie series titles will cost 50 cents each from now on. Get with it. Order three comic books for the price of two or one dollar. This offer expires June 30th, 1981. And that's got them listed here. Here's Betty in Phone Fair. Let me tell you, it isn't easy to be a phone. Ring, ring, sigh, maybe it's Archie. Sorry, you have the wrong number. Sigh, gulp. I get to cause so many disappointments. Ring, maybe that's Archie. Betty, I'd like to copy your homework so I can be free to date Archie tonight. I should say not, Veronica. What nerve, slam, ouch. Like I was saying, it isn't easy to be a phone. Ring, ring. Archie, of course I'll go dancing with you Friday night, sigh, but it's moments like this that make it all worthwhile. 
So this, this was back when everybody had a landline and slamming down the phone was the best. And you didn't know who was calling. So you actually wanted to answer the phone to find out. Mr. Weatherby and Paper Caper. Veronica, this gossip column of yours is positively scandalous. I must insist you reveal your sources. Well, Peggy told Sue, who told Linda, who told her best friend Madge, who in turn told Cora, who then told, never mind, never mind. Reggie in Snake Break. Look, Archie has formed a roller snake. Shall we join them, Reggie? Nah. Chomp. A roller snake is dumb and boring. Chomp. Yikes, so what happened to my pop? I think it got snake bitten. <laughs> so the people were biting into his popsicle as they roller skated by. Here's Archie in Surprise Prize. Archie, Gladys volunteered to be your secretary for today. Take a litter, Gladys. Don't you mean take, you mean take a letter, don't you, Archie? No, I mean take a litter. Our cat had kittens. And here's an advertisement for Joe Namath. Sorry, not Joe Namath. <laughs> Joe Namath is a football player. This is Joe Nazario. Let me teach you the simple secret professional muscle men use to build up their bodies in just 90 seconds a day. Here's Archie Club News. Membership is 50 cents and they've got a first prize was $6. Second prize was $4. And there's an order form to become an Archie Club member. And here's a puzzle, uh, fill in the blank. And it's Flute Snoot, this is a recording. Mr. Flute Snoot has noticed a small tape recorder in an electronics store and a curious thought struck him. Find out what his thought is by putting the numbered letters into the same numbered blank spaces. Here's uh, order form reward, $3,000 for this penny from 1943. Order form for strong arms, only $5. I could use some stronger arms myself. Okay, Reggie and Bee Glee. Midge, you're the prettiest flower at the masquerade. Let me sample your nectar, my pretty one. And here comes Moose. Duh, how about sampling my knuckle sandwich? Yipes, Moose. There's a switch for you, Archie. A bee that got stung. Archie and Tess Zest. Ooh, that was some multiple choice test, Brenda. Or Brenda, how about a date? Choose one. One, no, two, never, three, all of the above. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's a definite no there. Okay, Dilton and Sky Shy. You shy boy, why don't you ever kiss me goodnight? For a very good reason, Sharon, the satellite weather camera might be taking a picture of us. Now that is interesting because this was from a long time ago and I'm sure that is true. Maybe then, but definitely now. Jughead and Buck Pluck. It's a big thrill to hang up the first dollar I ever earned. Hey Jug, Pop has a special on cheeseburgers this week. It's even a bigger thrill to spend the first dollar I ever earned. <laughs> so he takes the framed dollar to pay the chocolate shop. Okay, Archie and Hitbit. I just got hit in the face with a slap shot. I didn't know you were in the game, Archie. I wasn't. Veronica saw me kissing one of the cheerleaders. Betty and Rope Rat. Jumping rope is a great way to lose weight. I think I'll try it. Hi, Betty. Hi, fellows. Thwap. Thwap. So she hits Archie and then Reggie. Jumping rope is also a great way to lose boyfriends. And here's Archie and Paper Caper. I'm determined not to get into trouble today. That's why I'm flying my plane outdoors. And then it goes in the window and hits Mr. Weatherby in the head. So it's a paper airplane. Uh, Humph, I recognize Archie's handiwork. I guess you just can't escape your fate. So Archie finds himself yet again in the detention room. Here's an advertisement for 100 little dolls, all for $5. And here's an order for genuine diamond earrings, $5. Well, that sounds interesting. I wonder how that works. Okay. Uh, here's Lifesavers, lots of fun and flavors advertisement. Hey kids, win a year's supply of Lifesavers candies. Enter the Lifesaver sweepstakes, win a year supply of candy and lollipops. Ooh, I would have liked that when I was a kid. Okay, and here is the front cover again. Thank you for watching.